Metalloids or semi-metals are a type of chemical elements that show an intermediate behavior between metals and non-metals in terms of ionization issues and bonding properties. Here are the characteristics of metalloids. 1. Location in the periodic table The metalloids are found within the periodic table on a diagonal descending from the baron to the acetine scattered between columns 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 and dividing the table into two. The elements that are located in the middle of the right are non-metallic and those that are located on the left are metallic. 2. Form and coloration The metallates are varied in their shape and color. They can be bright or opaque and many of them have more than one allotropic state that is different presentation according to their molecular structure. Arsenic, for example, can be gray, yellow or black depending on its allotropic version. Silicon, similarly, can be shown as a shiny solid crystal or as an amorphous and brownish powder. 3. Electric Conduction Most metalloids are semiconductors. They transmit electricity in only one direction instead of complete conductors and in that they are distinguished from metallic elements. However, they are much better drivers than non-metal elements, insulators, so they are often used in electric manufacturing industry. 4. Thermal Conduction As with electricity, metalloids conduct heat energy much better than non-metallic elements without reaching the high conductivity of metals. In general, they are not considered good conductors of heat. 5. Reactivity Given their intermediate condition, the metalloids react differently depending on whether they are in the presence of metallic element then react as a non-metal or a non-metallic element then react as a metal. They have an affinity for different elements depending on each one and that's why they are usually found in minerals along with them such as uranium, lead and sulfur etc. 6. Toxicity Although some metalloids such as arsenic are indispensable for the formation of vital molecules and are found in the bodies of living beings, they may represent a danger to health. Boron or arsenic, poisoning itself highly toxic, can be lethal and polonium on the other hand is a toxic and highly radioactive element that it emits alpha particles that are harmful to health. 7. States of Aggregation most metalloids are usually shown in the solid state at room temperature, either in the form of crystals such as arsenic or opaque and brittle blocks such as germanium. However, some have curious properties in terms of phase change. For example, arsenic passes directly from solid to gas sublimation in the presence of heat and at normal atmospheric pressures. 8. Atomic Properties the metalloids are very diverse in their atomic characterization. There are some with great atomic weights such as polonium 127.6 and other rather light such as boron 10.81 and silicon 28.08. The same happens with their densities ranging from 2.37 g per cm3 boron to 9.32 g per cm3 polonium and with their electronic configuration in the last layer, 3 for boron, 4 for silicon, 5 for arsenic, 6 for polonium, 7 for acetine. 9. Abundance Some metalloids are extremely abundant in the Earth's crust, such as silicon, which forms numerous compounds called silicates, or arsenic as well. Boron, on the other hand, exists abundantly, but as part of a mineral called borax, since it does not exit in a free or pure state in nature. Polonium, on the other hand, is quite rare and appears only as part of certain uranium minerals. An antimony is found in very small percentages in the Earth's crust. 10. Utility Most semi-metals are used for manufacture of electronic devices and semiconductor elements such as rectifiers, transistors, diodes, in the greatest circles or even, as in the case of silicon, chips and microprocessors. However, their variety enables them from many different uses. For example, some isotopes of boron are useful in the absorption of neutrons within nuclear power plants, functioning as well as mechanism of regulation of atomic reactions.